friends welcome to 13th part of our lecture permutation and our today's topic is inversion okay now i'll write the symbolic representation of this inversion inversion of i'll take permutation sigma is defined as summation i is equal to 1 to n inversion of i i'll explain what is what is mean by all these things at last first i'll say i belongs to the pre image i think i'll explain this with an example so that it will be clear for you i'll take a permutation sigma to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 as an additional information it is a length it's of length 6 so 1 is mapped to 3 2 is mapped to 1 3 is mapped to 2 4 is mapped to 4 5 to 6 6 to 5 so if you have seen it all, uh, always we have been like arranging it in an increasing order So first of all we will calculate the inversion of 1 It is defined as go from left to right in such a way that I'll take f of 1 as uh, I'll write it here f of 1 and and the right has to be uh, lesser than f of 1 like 3 and I'll choose a number lesser than uh, 3 Uh, one is less than three, or you can say it as three is greater than one. Three is greater than two, so three is not greater than four. Three is not greater than six. Three is not greater than five. So this is two. I'll take inversion of two. So f of two is one. I'll write f of one to be three and f of two to be one. One is greater than two. It's not true. One is not greater than four. One is not greater than six. One is not greater than five. So, it is zero. Similarly, inversion of three is equal to two is not greater than uh, four. Two is not greater than six. Two is not greater than five. So, it is zero. Inversion of four. Similarly, four is not greater than six. Four is not greater than five. It is also zero. If you take inversion of five, it will also be zero. If you take inversion of six, that is only five. It is always zero. I mean, inversion of the last digit is always zero. So this is I here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you are going to add all this two. Sometimes you might get one, one, two, three, whatever it might be. But I have chosen a simple example for to make you understand. So the in the inversion of sigma is equal to inversion of one, inversion of two, inversion of three up to six. That is two plus zero, 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 zero. That is here the inversion of sigma is equal to two. I'm sorry, inversion of sigma is equal to two. Out in other topics. please leave it in the comment box so that i can make it clear in my next video i'll take one more example sigma to be uh, or you can now take it as not sigma you can take it as g uh, so i'll take 4 3 so we will do the 1 2 3 4 we will write in standard form 4 is mapped to 3 3 is mapped to 2 2 is again mapped to 4 and uh, 1 is mapped to 1 it's because 1 is not here 1 is an identity mapping so let me calculate the inversion of 1 inversion of 1 inversion of 2 inversion of 3 Inversion of four, and inversion of one is one is 
not greater than 4, 1 is not greater than 2, 1 is not greater than 3. So it is 0 and 4. 4 is greater than 2 and 4 is greater than 3. I will just write the count by uh, writing 0. Sorry, round. So for 3. Uh, for f of 3 is 2. 2 is not greater than 3. So it becomes 0. If I take 4, of course, the last digit inversion is 0. So uh, inversion of g is equal to inversion of 1 plus inversion of 2 plus inversion of 3 plus inversion of 4. That is here i ranges from 1 to 4. So inversion of g is to be 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 2. And here i ranges from 1 to 6.